welcome to the another video tutorial from Vishwas Coaching and my name is Vishwana Chaudhary, your online instructor. So today I am going to discuss about the GM sustain and reverse GM sustain, how the staining procedure can be done in chromosome. So if I take the GM sustain, GM sustain, it is actually basic dye. Why it is basic? Because DNA is acidic in nature, so to dye the DNA, to stain the DNA, you need to apply some basics, basic dye. Okay, so GM cell is made up of mainly leucine and methylene blue. Methylene blue. And this procedure is done during karyotypic analysis. So, what is karyotype? Karyotype. Karyotype is the arrangement and the number of chromosomes of chromosomes of a cell or arrangement and the number of chromosomes of an organism like if i consider a human karyotype then the, how the chromosome structure is arranged or if i consider any other organism how the chromosome number and structure is arranged or organized and organized that can be viewed by karyotypic image or called karyogram. The image is called karyogram. Okay, so to do the karyotypic analysis, you need to get the condensed structure of chromosome. So from which part, so from which state of the cell you can get the condensed structure of chromosome. So during cell division, if I consider the metaphase chromosome. During the metaphase, metaphase state of uh, cell division, the chromosome is condensedly packed. Suppose this is a chromosome. It is condensedly packed. So how the process is done? You need to first arrest the cell division from metaphase to next phase. Okay? Anaphase. Next phase is anaphase. So you have to arrest the cell division of the cell by some procedure so that you can get the condensed structure of the chromosome from the metaphase stage and you do the GM sustain to get the karyotypic image or the karyogram. So why it is required the karyotypic image? Suppose if you want to find some genetic abnormality and you want to see it by staining the chromosomes. Suppose during, suppose if I if I say the human karyotype, suppose this is chromosome 1, this is chromosome 2, this is chromosome 3, and in this manner, this is chromosome X, and this is chromosome Y. Okay, so this kind of image you can get by gene sustaining. Okay, so this is the karyotype of a of a human body. Now if I consider this is normal karyotype. Now, if you want to find out some genetic disbalance or genetic disease of a of an organism or of a, of human, so you need to compare this karyotype with a with an abnormal human. By seeing the structural arrangement of the chromosome, you can find some genetic disbalance as well. Like if I consider Down syndrome, there is one pathogenic condition called Down syndrome where instead of diploid structure of chromosome 21 there is another chromosome is present so trisomy this is called trisomy so instead of diploid there is polyploidy so ploidy is the copy number of chromosome if I consider the ploidy ploidy is the copy number of chromosomes. So, diploidy, two copy, haploidy, one copy and triploidy or polyploidy is more than two copy. So, trisomy is a condition of polyploidy which is seen in Down syndrome. So, that can be visible, visible by karyotypic image as well. Also, there is some translocation also there. Translocation means suppose this is chromosome 21 and this is suppose chromosome 4. This is chromosome 4. Okay, suppose this is chromosome 21, this is chromosome 4 because chromosome 4 is larger than 21. So that is why this is chromosome 4. 
Now, some part of the chromosome 4 is deleted from chromosome 4 part and inserted into the chromosome 21. So, this is called translocation. Trans. Trans means you are transforming the location. This trans means this is not the part of the chromosome 4, but the part of some different chromosome. That is why it is called trans. Now, location is changed, that is why it is called translocation. So, this kind of thing you can easily you can easily observe by karyotypic image. Okay. So, how the gene sustaining is done? So, to do the gene sustaining, you need to apply some mild digestion of mild digestion with trypsin. Apply trypsin. It will partially digest the chromosomal structure. Why it is required? Just to get the differences between euchromatic region and heterochromatic region because metaphase chromosome is densely packed. So, if you just directly stain this uh, structure with gm sustain, you cannot distinguish the euchromatic and heterochromatic part. So, by applying the trypsin digestion, mild trypsin digestion, you can partially degrade the chromosomal structure so that chromosome will get separated uh, partially so that you can get the differences between euchromatic region and heterochromatic region. So, I have told that euchromatic is made up of more GC percentage than heterochromatic and heterochromatic is made up of more AT percentage than euchromatic. But, if I apply trypsin, so it is by convention you can, uh, you can, you may think that the 80 percentage, percentage of AT will become loose and GC percentage will become stable. But this is not like that because 80% present in the heterochromatic region, but heterochromatin is densely packed than euchromatic. So, trypsin will not get accessed. Okay, to this part, it will stain darkly by genes. But euchromatic region is the slightly loosely packed region, that is why trypsin will get allowed to digest this part and it will separate it. So, it will again lose the part. So, this will stain lightly by genes and it will stain darkly by genes. If you do this thing with GM sustain, you can see some kind of banding inside the chromosome. There is some kind of banding. Suppose this is chromosome 1, this is chromosome 1, and you apply GM sustain. Suppose this is like this, way. and this is part is dark. This way. Again, this is like this. Way. So, this kind of bending pattern you may observe by gene sustaining in karyotypic image. So, this band will actually give you the idea of some genic part or some active part and based on their bending pattern and based on their arm of the chromosome. Suppose this is P arm and this is Q arm, you can map the gene inside the chromosome. So this bending pattern is also called G band because you stand with GMS and you have got this kind of band that is what is called G band. Now, it is observed that heterochromatic part will try to retain just towards the towards the centromere, this is centromere, centromeric region, and try to present towards the telomere region. This is the tail of the chromosome. That is why it is called telomere. Telomeric region. So, telomeric region and centromeric region are reach of heterochromatic region. And which heterochromatic region? 
constitutive heterochromatic ketone because these are inactive part of the chromosome. The centromeric part and telomeric part of the inactive part of the chromosome. As constitutive heterochromatic is the inactive part, so they will try to retain here. So what is the uh, sequence present near the centromere or telomere? They are mainly repetitive region. Repetitive. Repetitive. So in, if I consider the human genome, other than the gene part, there, is, there are many tandem repetitions. Tandem repetitions. What is the tandem repeat? Suppose CA. Cytosine and adenine present tandem with many types CA, 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 up to 1000 types. So, this is called tandem with. Tandem with. This is inactive region of the gene, of the genome. So, this may present in the telomeric region or the centromeric region. So, repeat region present near these regions. Okay. So, this is a heterochromatic region or constitutive heterochromatic region. Now you know the idea about gene sustaining, karyotyping and all. Now if I want to do another staining method that is called reverse gene sustain, how can I do that? Reverse gene sustain. So during reverse gene sustain, you get just a reverse characteristic of gene sustain. Reverse genes uh, stain. Okay. So during this reverse gene sustain, first the uh, first the chromosome is uh, is is applied. Chromosome is applied by some heated buffer solution. So chromosome is first get applied to the buffer solution. Buffer solution, mainly phosphate buffer solution. Phosphate buffer solution. Heat it. Okay. As you are heating this, so obviously AT region will get separate first because there, there are two hydrogen bond, then GC. So AT will become loose, then GC. That means heterochromatic region become loose. Then chromatic region. That means heterochromatic region will become a lighter staining region than chromatic region. Euchromatic region will become darker. So that is why it is called reverse gene sustain. So after this phosphate buffer solution, we apply genes. So it will produce darker chromatic region. And lighter heterochromatic. Okay, but it is clear. Okay. And after this reversion sustain, you also get some kind of band where genic part will become darker than non genic part. This is the lighter. This part is lighter, this part is lighter. So this kind of band is called R band or reversion is a band. That is why it is called R band. Okay, so I think this is clear how the chromosomal staining can be done and what is the utility of karyotypic image. It is clear to you. I hope it is it will give you some idea about all this thing. If you like this video, just click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do share with your friend. Thank you guys. Thank you.